Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. Today we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting numbers with square roots in them. We do need to first understand how we can add square roots, so let's talk about this real quick. This problem right here, square root of 2 plus square root of 2, I distinctly remember the day that my best friend showed me this problem in like 7th grade, and I didn't understand what the answer was. I didn't even think you could add these two square roots. But as it turns out, you can. And the secret to adding square roots is you can only add them if it's the same square root. Obviously, these square roots are the same, so that means we can add them. Now, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to add the square roots like this, root 4. That's illegal. Don't do that. But what I'm saying you add, you add the coefficients in front of the square root. What does that mean? Well, technically in front of this root 2 is a 1. And technically in front of this root 2 is also a 1. It's invisible, but it's there. And so the answer is 1 plus 1, so 2 root 2. And that's what we're going to be doing today, essentially. Like, for instance, if I have 3 root 2 plus 4 root 2, that's going to be 7 root 2. If I have 9 root 3 minus 6 root 3, well, that's going to be 3 root 3, because the square roots are the same, so that means I keep the square root there, and the coefficient is what I'm really looking at here. So when I see 9 root 3 minus 6 root 3, I get 3 root 3, because 9 minus 6 is 3. So see if you can do this one on your own. Let's say I have 4 root 6 minus 7 root 6. Pause the video, should take you about 15 seconds, and tell me what the answer is. Okay, so I'm assuming you pause the video. The answer here, 4 minus 7 is negative 3 root 6. And there's our answer. And remember, the only reason we can add or subtract these is because they have the same square root. That's important. Now, what if they aren't the same square root? Like, for instance, what if I have square root of 8 minus the square root of 2? Now I can't subtract these or add them because it's different square roots. Well, whenever you see this, you should always try and make it the same square root. And the way we do that is by breaking up the square root of 8. And here's how we do that. The square root of 8 simplifies to root 4 and root 2. Those are the factors of 8. Root 4 is a perfect square. That's 2. So really what we have here for root 8, root 8 is just 2 root 2. And when I have 2 root 2 minus root 2, that's really 1 root 2, because remember the 1 is there. 2 root 2 minus 1 root 2 is 1 root 2. But you would never actually write the 1, you would just write root 2 as your final answer. And there we go. That's what you do whenever the square roots are not the same. You try and make them the same. Now let's look at this next one. The next one I have here is root 16 plus root 12. Again, the square roots are not the same. I want to make them the same. Let's see how I can do that. So the square root of 16, almost a trick question because that's just 4. That's already a perfect square. And root 12 can break up into root 3 and root 4. Root 4 is a perfect square with 2. So really what I've got here is 4 plus 2 root 3. And at this point you'll see that we will never, ever get the same square root because 4 doesn't even have a square root. So in other words, you can't add these numbers. They are not like terms. You cannot add them. So the final answer is just 4 plus 2 root 3. And that's perfectly fine. It doesn't always have to simplify. Okay, let's look at a couple more. Let's say I have 3 root 45 plus 2 root 5. So once again, I can only add them if they have the same square root. And I'm pretty sure I can't break up root 5 anymore. So let's focus on the root 45. So root 45 can break up into 9 times 5 is 45. So root 9 times root 5. The square root of 9 is a perfect square. It's 3. Keep in mind, when I rewrite this, I'm not going to write 3 root 5. Although I'm not going to erase that. That's not wrong. But I need to say 3 times 3 root 5. Why? Because I can't forget that 3 right there. And those 3's are going to multiply together. So really, I have 9 root 5 plus 2 root 5 from the original. And now that these are the same square root, root 5, I can now add the numbers together, specifically the 9 and the 2. The answer is just 11 root 5. And now let's look at the final boss of problems. We have a real doozy. 2 root 54 minus 4 root 32 
plus 5 root 6. This one's pretty complicated. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. So here's what I'm going to say. If you want to solve this, the first thing we need to do is break up root 54 and root 32 as much as possible. Root 54, what's 54? 9 times 6? So root 9 times root 6. Root 9 is a perfect square of 3, and we can't forget that too. So really, this becomes 2 times 3 times root 6, or 6 root 6. And root 6 can't simplify anymore, so you leave it as root 6. Then root 32. Well, 32 is going to equal root 8 times root 4. Root 4 is a perfect square, that's 2. Root 8 can break up further into root 2 times root 4. Again, root 4 is a perfect square with 2. So now, when I simplify this one for 4 root 32, it's going to be that 4 from the original times 2 times another 2, because there's two 2's right here we see. And then there's still that square root of 2 under the square root. 4 times 2 times 2 is 16, so it's 16 root 2. And don't forget, this is minus, so minus that. So really what we've got here is 6 root 6 minus 16 root 2, and then looking back at the original, we still have to add 5 root 6. Now remember, we can only add square roots if they have the same square root. So in other words, I can add this one and that one, but I can't add or subtract the 16 root 2. We're just going to leave that one alone. So 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 root 6, and like we said, we can't combine it, so we just write it, minus 16 root 2, and that's all you do. We're done. You can't combine those anymore, and that's pretty much it. So that's how we add and subtract square roots. Again, the square root has to be the same, and when it is the same, you just add and subtract the coefficients like that. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.